we've talked about this before. We should talk about it frequently. We should think about it every day. What's happened to our ability, our very own grown-up freedom of speech, proud Australian ability, to say to somebody, that's wrong. You shouldn't do that. That's wrong. Well, I'll tell you what's happened to it. Do-good has got hold of it, chewed it up, spat it out as sometime politically correct BS. And for those who aren't aware of political correctness, it's simply the thought Gestapo's campaign to avoid the truth. And the thought police are getting a lot of people in, and I mean a lot of people. Even our less intelligent politicians, and God knows there are plenty of them, even they are falling for it. Well, don't fall. Don't be frightened by the truth. Don't hide behind some idiotic phrase, frightened of one word because it happens to be true. Let me tell you, there is nothing wrong with the word wrong. But these days, if you confront the truth, you're an instant bigot, a big mouth, a racist. You're anything but honest. And as a consequence of this, honest people are now resiling from the truth. But don't be caught, people. Don't let the standards that have served us so well in this great country decline. You see, they've got us hoodwinked already. Condoms are being handed out round the world like early marks in the old days. It's because we've actually been dumb enough to fall for the safe sex angle with kids. Oh, give them condoms. They're going to have sex anyway. You can't stop them. That is the cry of the morally anointed. Well, could you please explain to me how it is that in 1979, 1969, 1959, teenage sexual activity was considerably less than it is now. In the early 80s, 40% of 17-year-olds were sexually experienced. Ten years later, the figure's 60%. That's an increase of 50% in ten years and rising. But anybody who dare raise the question, and you've got to admit it's not a bad question as it applies to homosexuality, crime, wife bashing, kid bashing, any bashing you name, but anybody who dares raise the question is a hate monger, a sexist, a chauvinist, all the things people say I am. That's because poor, sensitive, what wondrous things the thought police have done with that word, sensitive, but that's another story. Poor, sensitive people. See, my criticism in the form of any disagreement as condemnation. I'm not condemning anybody. Most of you aren't condemning anybody, but surely to God we can criticize, can we not? We should think a lot more about standards that need to be in place in a great society. No reason in the world why we should just sit here and witness societal decay simply because an elite group has sent out the message, I live in a free country and I can do what I like. We, however, know that to be wrong. These people have what I call cafeteria logic. They just take what they think is going to make them feel good. As we've said so often, in fact, it's one of our oft-quoted irreverently logical truths, people constantly tell us that an individual has the right to lead his or her life any way they choose. Well, that may well be right, but they don't have the right to expect the rest of us to approve of it, or more importantly, pay for it.